Okay, so we are going to start. Uh, we're we're going to start now with a, uh, a UI element. We're going to start building our pan and tilt controls. So we know what we're doing now. Um, we're going to repeat it a couple of times for the pan and tilt. It's quite a simple system. What we need to do is to send uh, a slider information like this into our map over here, which will send pan and tilt information straight into the fixture patch. So we're going to go back into the designer mode. Um, we've had a couple of uh, sliders built here. This one's our intensity one. Um, this one's our debug fixtures. Let's move out of the way for the moment. And we're going to build two more sliders for pan and tilt. So I'm going to put one here and I'm going to put one here. The first slider here is going to be our tilt because it's up and down. So we want to see that move the, the mirror up and down. And this one's going to be our pan. Uh, I'm going to spin this one round. I want to make it upright so that it sort of aligns with the, the orientation that it's going to go in. So the orientation set here is how many horizontal. We're going to make it vertical. There we go. And it's, it's made it all squat. So what would be nice actually is to make these the same size as each other. So I'm getting roughly where I think they need to be size wise. So roughly about 160 wide. I mean, it doesn't matter so much on the width. Um, so I'm going to go for 50 and 100. I'll do the same thing. Oh, I shouldn't keep using that keyboard. There we go. And I'm going to do 150. Okay. So these are now my pan and tilt. And we can label these up. Let's just stick some text in. Just make that really clear. So I'm just add text straight onto there. Uh, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Font is currently a botto. There's a whole way of editing font. Uh, I'll show you another time because it's a bit of a fiddle and I'm going to change that to pan and make a copy, stick it over here and make that tilt just so it's really clear. And whilst we're labelling, shall we do an intensity one as well? And it doesn't really matter how this looks at the moment, we're just proving it works functionally. We can make it look nice later, that's one we, what we can do at the end of the project. So now we've got pan and tilt we are going to add on value changed. Do one, go back to our designer mode, click on, oh, don't click with it, click on the other one and do that again. On value changed. Now we've got slider pan, slider tilt. Let's stick them over here with the others. Try and make it look neat. It's easy to find things. And we're going to create a variable that can be operated by that slider. So I'm going to right click on the value, promote to variable. It's created a set, uh, set variable. I'm going to change its name to variable uh, pan slider like that. You notice that I, I never put spaces. I have an underscore for prefixes and suffixes, and then you use this camel text where you have capital letters next to uh, words. So it looks like a, so it's a single string of, of letters with no spaces. It's better for coding. Um, but it has spaced out for me in here, so it's easy to read because it knows what I'm trying to say. So there's the first variable. Let's do another one for tilt. And I'm going to call that variable underscore tilt slider. Okay, and now we're going to go over to our map and where we've got pan and tilt, we're going to do a get for those two variables. So it pushes it in. I could have just joined the lines up straight away, but uh, doing this means that we have the ability to access those values anywhere. Um, we don't have to drag off the pin. We now have variables for them. And it just neatens up the, the blueprint a little bit because you can, um, uh, you can get rid of all the lines that are moving around. There's good and bad reasons for that, to be honest. So we're going to add those into pan and tilt. So pan goes into pan, tilt goes into tilt. So it's converted the float to an integer again. So value four and value five, pan and tilt. Um, right, the other thing we need to do is to set the values of the slider. So let's go back into designer mode. Now we did set, if you remember in the fixture patch, a value, a default value for its position at 127, which means exactly in the middle. So currently the mirror is pointing down because zero and zero is sort of down and to the side. 127 by 127 means 
a home position effectively. Lighting desks will normally do this automatically, so we're going to put in a default value of 127, but the maximum value is still at 1. Uh, we need it to be 254. Oh, I've done it again. So there we go. You can see that, 254, which is the, uh, the maximum range of that, um, of that slider. 127 being where it is naturally. You can see it sat itself in the middle. If I made that zero again, it goes down to the bottom. 127 sets it in the middle. Uh, and we do the same thing with this. 254, zero, and 127. Um, there is an option to bind this. We'll, we'll come back to this. So you can actually set the, the, the default value by using one of the variables from the blueprint. So you could, for instance, have a, a box down here which you type into it what you think the default preset should be. So if you think that the home position should be 250 bytes of DMX, you could type it into a box. It sends it into the blueprint as a variable. You can then access it back here as a variable and it will tell the value what it should be. So you, know, you, you have some, some clever tools there you can start to build into when we get the hang of this. So there goes, that's what we need to do. Designer and graphs done. We need to compile it and save. And should we test it? So we're going to turn the light back on again. And we have our patch running. Um, in fact, this isn't going to work, is it? Because we don't, we're not sending this yet to the DMX fixture patch. No, it should work. Let's try it. Let's try it. I'm going to click play. Is it finished doing its startup? No, what's happened is it crashed. I've got a crash, I think, because it's all frozen on me. Ah, oh, right, so that's working. That's panning. And intensity, oh look, intensity works. And uh, you can see there that those that value is changing. That value is coming from the debug tool that we built earlier with the print string. So we know that that's going into the fixture patch and it's going back out again. But obviously we can see that from the light. Uh, and it's a tilt that's not working. And I think I know why. It must be a UI issue. Let's go into our console here and look. See that tilt label? The button is, or well, the label is too big. It's covering up the the controller. And I had a bit of trouble with intensity as well. So it must be the same thing. Oh, I need to make that smaller. So there we go. It was overlapping. So now let's save that and play. So now we can grab tilt. There we go. Pan. I'll turn it on, it'll be easy to see, won't it? So, intensity is at full. I'm going to pan it. Ooh, right in my eyes. There we go, and I'm going to tilt it up. So let's go to the big screen so you can you can see what I can see. So there we go, got some, some tilt, and we've got some pan, and we've got intensity. 